So After Effects, of course, is a great program. We all use it all the time, but there are definitely things that we wish were better about it, right? There's lots of missing features and effects and weirdness with the UI. But today, I'm going to show you a handful of free plugins I use. I got them from aescripts.com. Not a sponsored video, but it's a really common place to go to get really great plugins for After Effects. Let's take a look. So the first plugin I use all the time is called Ease Copy, and what that does is that it copies and pastes the speed curve from one set of keyframes to another, so that even if the values are different, kind of the feel of the animation is the same. So let me show you what I mean. I have this shape here, just kind of bouncing across the screen. If I show you the keyframes, you can see we have this little speed graph, right? I'll turn on this other shape here, and you can see that was just like a linear movement going in the other way. So instead of me trying to sit here and fiddle with like the keyframes exactly, I just copy these keyframes. I go up to Ease Copy over here, copy those keyframes, select the ones I want to paste it to, paste the ease, and now they kind of have the same kind of feeling, you know, ramp up and slow down motion. So that's really great just to kind of get things feeling the same and feeling similar, you know, even if the animations are different. And this works across different types of animations. So you can see this scale I have here. So even though it's not a position animation, I can still paste that ease. And now it kind of like pops in, you know, the same way. And they all kind of feel similar. So ease copy, really useful, use it all the time. It's great. Another one that's super handy is a plugin called Text Exploder, and what that does is that can take chunks of text and break them up either by line, by word, or character, but it keeps the text in the same place. So in this case, I have this little sentence, explode this text, and if I go over to Text Exploder, I can split it into this case, I'm going to do words, I'll hit apply, and now it keeps the original for me, I can turn that off, but now I have each one as its own layer. So it's still text, I could still go in and adjust them after the fact, but now I can animate them all separately, you know, move things around. I could get crazy, move things out of order if I wanted. And now you have something like that. Text Exploder is great if you have a sentence or a paragraph, but you want the words to animate differently or use different track mats or effects, whatever the case may be, it's very useful. Okay, I'm pausing the video as I'm sorry, but I lied to you. Text Exploder isn't free. It actually costs 20 bucks, but I definitely think it's worth it if you can afford it. I'm not gonna take it out because I already recorded everything, so sorry about it. But if it helps, AE Scripts is running their summer sale soon, and I saw that Mammo World Tools, who makes Text Exploder will have their stuff on sale in August, so if you want to get a little discount on it, I'm sure it'll be there. You can wait for that and go check it out. Okay, back to the video. Another plugin I use is PT Shift Layers, and this has the ability to move a selection of layers over by a certain number of frames all at once, in this case 10 frames. Now that's handy, sure, cool, but what I like more about this plugin is actually the ability to stagger layers by any amount of frames that I want. And so in this case, I'll just stagger them all each by four frames. And when it does, we have a stagger, like a little staircase here. Now if I play back, I've got this nice little animation of staggered animated text. It looks really nice and it's a lot more precise and quicker than just moving all these layers by hand. Now if you want to make your animations a little more playful and you don't want to fiddle with the graph editor very much, you can use Ease and Wiz. So if you take an animation that you've already made with linear keyframes, as you can see I just have this very boring up and down bounce kind of thing, you can use Ease and Wiz over in this panel. Go over here. Now the top options are basically eases at different kind of graph shapes. They all kind of produce a different feel in terms of velocity, ramping up or down. The next menu has some specialty options that can give your animation a bouncier feel. They add overshoots to your animation and it's easy to understand bounce back elastic. You can adjust if it affects your end point or your out point or both and whether or not it affects all the keyframes or just some. In this case I'm going to apply an elastic to everything across the board. And now you can see it's kind of got this weird little sort of bouncy, stretchy sort of deal going on. Or if I go in, I can reset it here, just delete all the expressions that I did, delete that last one, and then if I select this one, set it to just out to bounce, apply, and now we kind of get this nice little bounce.
Last, but certainly not least, is True Comp Duplicator. Now this can not only duplicate the comp that we're currently working on, but it'll also duplicate all of the individual pre-comps that are inside of it. So this is really handy if you're making a new version of your comp because you can save your original work and then make tweaks to the new pre-comps inside without messing up with what you made before. Let me just kind of explain. So if you see this, it's a very just simple little animation I made, but it's all made out of a bunch of pre-comps. So if you go in here, in, all of these pre-comps to kind of get to this base animated layer, right? So if I wanted to make changes to this, I'd have to duplicate things a bunch of times, but with True Comp Duplicator, I don't. I can just go to the True Comp Duplicator panel. I can, you know, add a new suffix to the comp I make. I have all these options for duplicating footage, duplicating solids. The depth limit will actually tell me how many pre-comps deep that I wanted to look. So you have lots of options in here. In this case, I'll just say, version two or something. And then I select that comp in the project panel. I duplicate it. Seven items duplicated, zero expressions, that's fine. Now I have a new version in here. I can go all the way very deep. Let's just pretend I wanted to make this one that blue color for some reason. And now you can see I've added that blue color, but my original one is still the same, just how I made it. This is just a huge time saver, rather than duplicating a comp and all of the pre-comps inside of it and then manually replacing them by hand. So all these plugins are super great. I use them a ton, almost daily when I'm in After Effects. And like I said, they're free. So definitely go check them out after this video. Also, here are some honorable mentions. These are plugins that are also free that I've used that I really like and you should definitely go check out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.